During pre-Civil War America, a network of people in safe houses across the states, known as Underground Railroad, helped enslaved African Americans in the South escape to the North. Due to Ohio's borders with two pro-slavery states and Canada, the states saw heavy activity and became known as a trunk line on the network. White abolitionists, Native Americans, and African Americans across Ohio worked oftentimes together to help escaped enslaved people travel from the Ohio River Valley through Ohio to Lake Erie and beyond to the Canadian border. Today, many sites associated with this time have been preserved and are welcome to visitors, like the John Rankin House in Ripley and the William Hubbard House in Ashtabula. The historic village of Mount Pleasant in Jefferson County and the Putnam Historic District in Zanesville are among many towns across Ohio with abolitionist roots who played major roles on the Underground Railroad. As Ohio at the time was a free state, many African Americans chose to stay in Ohio and form settlements of their own, such as the Black Fork Settlement in Lawrence County, the Still Guest Settlement in Ross County, and the Africa Community in Delaware County. For those looking to learn more about Ohio's Underground Railroad history, we encourage you to visit the historic sites mentioned in this video, the National Underground Railroad and Freedom Center in Cincinnati, or the Underground Railroad Museum in Belmont County. You can find information on these places and more at ohio.org.